Hello everyone. In today's video, we will discuss about pterygium surgery. Pterygium is a growth of the conjunctiva which encroaches over the cornea. This condition is more commonly seen in the older age group, especially patients who spend a lot of time in the sunlight. When should you get the pterygium operated? If this tissue causes a loss of vision because of encroachment on the cornea or due to induced cylindrical power or astigmatism, if the cosmetic appearance is a concern for the patient, or if there is persistent redness and watering due to the pterygium. So let's take a look at the surgical video. First, we are stripping the pterygium head from the corneal surface. This is being done with the use of two sharp forceps. Then the head of the pterygium is being excised. Now here we are clearing the cornea making sure that we achieve a smooth dissection without any residual tissue on the corneal surface. Pterygium is a degeneration of the conjunctiva. Therefore, it is important for us to dissect all this degenerated subconjunctival tissue to avoid recurrence. So here we are using a combination of sharp and blunt dissection technique to free up the underlying subconjunctival tissue and subsequently excise. Then we measure the defect that we have created and accordingly take a conjunctival autograft from the superotemporal quadrant of the same eye. Here again, we are using a blunt dissection technique to avoid buttonholing of the conjunctiva, ensuring a thin autograft with hardly any subconjunctival tissue. The thinner, the better. Then we are excising this graft and making sure that we secure it in place. We are using fibrin glue to secure the graft here. This avoids the need for suturing and the patient feels more comfortable after the surgery. The graft is being secured in place and the excess tissue is being trimmed off so as to achieve a good cosmetic outcome. This is the end of the surgery. We inject subconjunctival uh, steroid as well as antibiotic and then patch the eye. This procedure of pterygium excision with conjunctival autograph fulfills two major goals of pterygium surgery. First, to obtain good cosmesis and secondly, to minimize the chances of recurrence of pterygium.